What's up, YouTube? What up, friends and fam? It's your boy Kenny Lucas back at it with another fucking YouTube video. It's been a while since we've been on the car, hasn't it? Um, as you can might be able to tell, I am selling my truck, the 2009 Toyota Tacoma, four door, 160,000 miles on it, um, selling it for 13K. Um, so far I have gotten somebody to give me a pretty good offer and that being said I said I'm taking out my radio and they wanted to give me like something like 11 grand I was like you know the market in Cape Cod I, I don't think it's the best for selling cars I'm um, getting my money up and I'm working on a few different things around the house uh, in order to get these bills paid and it's just like a matter of like, maybe I shouldn't be selling it in Falmouth, but I, I don't know. I, maybe it's just a neighborhood I'm in or whatever. Um, or maybe it's just a market, maybe it is like this, but I, I, I always don't accept that because I know motherfuckers go to the yard, you know what I mean, the dealership. You know what I mean? People go to the dealership all the time and overspend on used vehicles just because it's a dealership because they think it's like the right thing to do because they can finance man that couldn't be more far from the truth because out of all the used car dealerships i've been to i haven't found one that is reputable or one that i can voice on you know what i mean and i've been to a couple last year and throughout the years like i don't know what it is about it but like those used car dealers and the owners there they you know they get cars that work but like it's sketchy because they're always swapping engines or swapping parts you know what i mean like you don't get the true authenticity once it gets to the point of the car winds up at a used car dealership you know what i'm saying it's just like it's so corrupt you know but um that's what we're doing here and the message of today's video vision everybody has a vision but here we here it is. It's more simple than that. It ain't no big vision. Envisioning something does not mean oh what my life is gonna look like 20 years from now and I'm gonna get it and if I don't get it, I'm gonna be really sad and depressed that I wasn't able to get it because I was visioning it the whole time. Here's the thing: the vision of your life you gotta be just like independent type shit. You know what I'm saying? What are you gonna do with just you? if nobody else is around you. You know what I mean? That's what I firmly believe. And it gets simpler than that though because you focus first on, like right now I'm driving to the store to get water. I'm focusing on the store, getting water, making the YouTube video. And for the example of the store, I'm going to the store to get Evian water and I'm imagining that they have Evian water and I'm envisioning it all happening smoothly. Maybe I'll chat with one of the receptionists or something. It'll be a good time, you know what I mean? It's not gonna be like a drag or anything like that. It's gonna be like, okay, cool. I'm over here doing it. Um, versus, you know, looking at the negative, like, oh, what if they don't have it? No, that's feeding the bad wolf. We're trying to feed the good wolf here at all times. And we're envisioning what's going to happen next. It's what they teach you in the uh, Law of Attraction movie, The Secret, um, with what's his name? I forget that guy's name. But he recently died, Bob Proctor. Bob Proctor, RIP Bob Proctor, man, legend. Fucking legend, he just recently passed away. Um, he was old too. He still has, and the cool thing about Bob Proctor, he, do, he did what like I would say the most of us wanna do, and he set up a business for his family to keep lasting. Like, you can still go on his website right now and sign up for his personal development shit. Um, which I think is pretty badass. He's a living legend, or he's a, he's a dead le legend now, and um, it's just pretty badass, you know? It's just like, sorry, I'm trying to turn around here. <laughs> rich people, man. Some rich people are just like something else. I just laugh at them now. I used to get pissed at them, but I just literally smile at them. Um, anyway, so vision, I'm envisioning that this store is going to have this water and see right there, I wasn't falling, staying true to that vision because all of a sudden I seen roach rollers. I'm like, Hey, maybe I should go there. You know what I mean? So it takes practice. It really does. Like that vision takes practice. 
And then once you get that down, like as simple as like picking up something off the ground, we all do vision. Even if you think you don't know what your vision is, you know what you're doing. Like you're envisioning stuff all the time. All it means is that you're envisioning the next thing happening. You're envisioning the next thing happening. And it's just a magic matter of envisioning, um, you know, getting enough of those envisionments in your system. Then all of a sudden you're envisioning five years down the road. You're envisioning, you know what I mean? Like I see these visions, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, today I was doing my work in my yard. I was organizing. I got a lot of shit that I bought last year. I'm selling most of it on on eBay, Facebook, whatever. Um, but then I came to this vision. I was like, man, I should have... I have a yard now. I was like, I need to make an outdoor gym and train my personal training clients there. Because I, I think it's cool to have some in-person personal training clients, have my soldiers ready you know what I'm saying? Whoever wants to get on the program and whoever wants to work out in person, you know, like figure out a price. I haven't done gone over all the pricing yet. I really haven't. I haven't had the time to. Um, uh, maybe that's an excuse, but I just haven't, period. And I was thinking that'd be really fucking cool. I have a neighbor who, um, as a carpenter, him and I are boys. Like, we keep telling each other, like, man, we never had, we like, we both of us never had such a cool neighbor. I mean, that's what he said. He's, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm the best. You know what I mean? Who the fuck is better than me as a neighbor? Like, seriously. And once you get to know me, I mean, I guess sometimes people think I'm, like, standoffish or, you know, I think I'm better than you, which I don't think I'm better than you. I know I'm better than you. But it's not really about that. Like, I'm all about the team. I'm all about winning. Um, of course, I'll always be on top. That's just how I feel. But when I do see somebody that's more elevated than me as far as uh, spiritual enlightenment goes, I definitely, you know what I mean? Like, in shape body blah 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 but anyway so i'm going in this store i just wanted to hop on here real quick just to say what up we've been busy selling the taco selling some tools and uh i ain't even gonna talk about the rest of the vision because i'm just gonna let do god do the talking man you know what i'm saying like that's what i that's what really what i've been discovering man just let god do the talking man just walk and let god talk man sometimes we go through these patches in our life where that's just all it is like I've looked back at times and certain trials and tribulations I've been through, and I was like, damn, and I still see it right now, because those trials and tribulations I've been through before, as far as mental health goes, when I was super depressed, when I wasn't leaving, when I wasn't talking to anybody, I'm talking like, I wasn't talking to nobody, not because I was trying to like, stay focused on something, it was just because I was watching TV and I was just so sad for no reason, I was so sad. Um, and so I've been there, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's embarrassing as fuck. And as a man, it's embarrassing as fuck. It makes me look like the biggest bitch there is. Like in the past, I have been the biggest bitch there is. That's for fucking sure. Not on some fucking gay shit and shit like that. But I know what it's like to experience sadness, pain, all that to the point of like, you're thinking about killing yourself. You know what I'm saying? I never did, never acted on it. Not that that makes me better than anybody else. But I've been there. I've been there for so long before. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can ask um, my ex down in Florida. You know what I mean? Um, I pray and hope she's doing well. She's a soldier. That's for sure. Um, but um, you can ask her, man. Or ask anybody that knew me at the time that is with reality. I was depressed as fuck. I, I still kept my personality with the people I did talk to. But... The people I was talking to was like my ex, my parents, my brother, my cousin. Only people that would want to listen to me complain. You know what I mean? Nothing against them. I love my family. They'll always be for, there for me. That's how much families love you. They'll even listen to your ass complain when you need to talk to them. That's pretty fucking unconditional love. But at the same time, you got to take that unconditional love and realize that you ain't doing anybody any good by just complaining. You know what I mean? You're just complaining. You're just professing complaining. So instead, read that positive mental book that Tony Robbins um, recommends, um, the the Positive Work Week or something. I'll, I'll get back to you in the comments about what that book is called because I want to read it again. And just steadfast, don't do anything unless it's positive. It's a positive thought, positive action, positive words. Positive, positive, positive. You're always thinking positive, positive, positive. I'm not going to bring a negative connotation to this. And we're just going to vision 
positive stuff happening, even if it's just as simple as going into a store and getting water and knowing that they're in stock, or even if it's just like as simple as waking up in the morning and jolting out of bed. That's a big one. That's a big one. You know what I mean? That's a big one. And I, I think it's a relatively easy one to start on. Um, vision that, you know, tonight set your alarm for a certain time that you will, you get your sleep and whatnot. And then once that alarm clock goes up, you're going to jolt out of bed because you've envisioned it happening the night before. You'll see it happen. It's, it's pretty magical. You know, once those visions start coming true and that one, like I've said before, I profess this before and, and again and again and again, but the most important one is definitely, definitely, definitely the wake up time, you know, Joel out of bed, be excited. Like it works. I'm trying to tell you it really, really fucking works. Like pretend that you're excited getting up and then eventually you'll start just getting up excited. I don't know why it works, but it does. It sucks in the beginning because you're not excited at all to get up at that time or just to Joel out of bed. Even if you're waking up at nine o'clock, like getting up just sucks sometimes. You know what I mean? Like it's like the hardest thing to do like ever. I don't know why, but it just is. Well, I do know why, but I can't really get into it right now. But um, with that, like, comment, share, and subscribe. I love you guys. Hope you guys are doing good with this whole pandemic and all the bullshit. Um, not pandemic, but the recession. But look, America ain't paying you. You know what I mean? Like, America didn't make you here or anything like that. God did. So anything you're going through, it's because God wants you to go through it. Because he's getting you ready for what's in store. Just like I said, how I went through that mental health thing when I was younger, it was because he was getting me ready for this moment because I'm fucking crushing it. You know what I'm saying? Like, a lot of this shit, like, if I didn't go through that in the in the past and I had to go through this shit now, I would break like a twig, man. I would break like a fucking twig. Like, I'd probably, I don't fucking know. I'd, I'd probably just, run, like, be like, eh, I need to go somewhere you know what i mean like i'd go move somewhere with somebody like out of state type shit like i used to do um but now that i'm a bigger and better person because i have moved out of state i'm not saying that moving out of state is sometimes the best thing you can do but right now older my fam my family's older it's like it's time to take care of them take take care of my people and show you guys the way so with that like comment, share and subscribe peace